Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading that is a general reading, so it might not resonate with everybody, so please do take whatever resonates with you and simply leave the rest of it aside. If you feel as though it doesn't quite make sense, you're not quite sure of it, leave it aside and um, really take whatever is good for you. So if it's one message or two, take that and that is good for you. Um, also, I would like to mention that if you would like to have your own personal reading, all my information is right below into the YouTube description box. And um, if you do enjoy the channel, you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself. And I do thank you in advance. It is highly appreciated. So with no further ado, let's get right into this reading. This is a channeled reading. It's a channeled reading for the beautiful sign of Libra. We have the universe to come and give us three messages. So I have one, two, three messages. Take what belongs to you, of course. Um, these are messages from the universe about how to find true love and how to bring true love and romance either into your existing relationship or into a rela relationship that is to come. So let's go and see what the universe has to reveal to you. So we're going to be speaking about love, also serendipity, and spiritual maturity. So let's begin this with the beautiful card of love. Is there any other word, quite frankly, in our language that has been, that has so many meanings, that has been so overused, and I would even go to the extent of saying misused. Now, we long for it, we agonize over it when we don't have it, but what does love really mean? To some people, love is about fidelity, it's about loyalty. To some, it's just about getting married. To some, it's about sharing, and to others, it's about the obligation and what you owe to people who love you. Now, we use the word, we conjure up the idea quite frequently, yet we see shallow expressions of love everywhere around us in media and entertainment. You receive this message today because the universe, your angels, your guides, they would like you to think about what love really is for you. It really is important for you to make time to contemplate love and how you can create more of it into your life. Maybe close your eyes, get into the feeling of love, the pure, the raw energy of this creative force. And this may seem a little bit abstract at first, but as you allow yourself to feel its presence and to merge with its vibration, you're going to begin to realize something absolutely amazing. Love is not confined to human relationships or interactions between living beings. It is the fundamental force that animates and guides the entire universe. Love is in the air that we breathe, it's in the water that we drink, it's in the earth that we walk upon. Love is quite literally all around and within you. If you would like to attract a loving relationship or improve your existing partnership, you can make a beautiful beginning by going to the source of love first. You never, 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 you need to never be short of love. Tapping into the endless flow of love that infuses every atom within you and around you is going to provide nourishment for your soul, for your inspiration, for your life. And when you make time to contemplate love, you feel the kind of love that you desire and you connect with the universal love. And you are going to be guided every single step of the way to the greatest force that was ever created. Love. Let's move on over to your following message. Let's talk about serendipity. Trust that your journey is unfolding naturally and that it is unfolding gracefully. How often have you wondered when, 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 when? When is it going to happen? When, 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 when? Uncertainty and waiting for your dreams to come true can be really, really frustrating. And most of the time, what we want and what we want and what we need, we want it right now. Yet, we often look back our, at our lives and are able to appreciate the divine timing and the serendipity that took place then. So, timing. It's a key element of life, whether you're longing to meet your beloved or craving a renewal of your current connection. 
it's often difficult or even impossible to understand why your needs remain unfulfilled at a certain time. You might even doubt yourself or become disappointed with the universe. Developing your ability to trust in the greater forces that nurture and guide you is really an empowering skill to have. You need to make sure that you are genuinely committed to having, doing, or being whatever it is that you asked for. Sometimes the universe will protect you from your own naivety so that you can have more time to think. To think what? Think things through. Next, you need to make sure that you have done all that you can from an earthly and a human perspective to help you make your dreams a reality. If you're procrastinating, how can you expect the universe to deliver? And once all of that is taken care of, it's time to trust. Trust that the divine timing and the serendipity have taken over and you must be prepared to listen and to act upon your intuition. And when you feel the urge to follow something up or have a sense of knowing, you must go with it and you must discover where that leads. There are many steps onto the path of your highest good. So you need to be prepared for the small miracles along the way rather than a big puff of smoke and then total change. So divine timing and serendipity give you that time to consider, to reconsider, to refine and to adjust. And then they add just a little bit of magic so there can be an element of unexpected also. Life wasn't meant to be predictable and your future is not set in stone. You need to learn to go with the flow and allow your fascinating journey to unfold graciously. Moving on over now to spiritual maturity, which is your final card coming from the universe. Honoring your own spiritual growth and that of your beloved is really vital for a loving relationship. What is spiritual maturity and why is it important in a loving relationship, you might ask me? Take a moment now to think about how you would answer these questions. Spiritual maturity will also take into account spiritual compatibility. For example, if you believe in reincarnation, karma, and higher power that lovingly guides, then how compatible can you be with a person who believes in a judgmental God and only one opportunity to get it right before being sent to heaven or to hell? Being spiritually mature means that you can accept another person's view while being able to choose the best match for yourself quite wisely. A spiritual mature person doesn't have all the answers to life, the universe and everything, but at the very least, they will have given these topics at least some type of consideration. Now, spiritually mature people, they endeavor to think of themselves because the maturing process actually requires that we question what our family, what our culture teaches us until we come of our own center of belief and our own spiritual truth. Now, you receive this message today because it's important for you to prioritize spiritual maturity in yourself and in your partner. This will aid you in connecting with your true soulmate or allow an existing relationship to simply grow. An understanding of each other's beliefs and feelings can be released through respectful and mindful conversations. You need to ask your perspective or your existing partner what their beliefs are and never ever assume. Never. It doesn't matter what you're talking about. Let's never assume. Create a space in your relationship for spiritual maturity to simply flourish. Have the courage to explore beyond the beliefs and ideals that were handed to you as you were a child and be willing to take over whatever steps are necessary to mature yourself. And when you do this, you are going to attract the best person for you. So if you're in an existing relationship, you can open doors to many new and exciting possibilities for you and your partner to enjoy. That is all about spiritual maturity. So that being said, my dear friends Libra, this does conclude your beautiful reading with the universe. I hope that you were able to gather some, um, some pieces of messages and information that you're going to be able to apply onto your journey into your relationships. If you do have any questions, you would like to have your own reading, romanceviltarot at gmail.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, stay tuned for following message, and I have a great day. Many blessings to you.